Welcome to the channel. So today we're going to do a quick review and setup in relation to an IKEA smart home uh, sensor called an IKEA Vinstrica. It's a Zigbee device that uh, is supposed to be hooked into the IKEA hub, but can equally, since it's a generic uh, Zigbee uh, protocol uh, sensor, it can be hooked into Smart Assistant. So the device itself comes in a plastic uh, white container um, measuring 52 millimeters wide by 59 millimeters deep by 87 millimeters high. It's not battery powered. It's powered by a USB-C connection, which uh, there's a cable inside of the box. Reasonable length around about a meter long. Uh, the button, there are two buttons on top. One is to activate the light to, uh, to be able to come on. Um, and the second button is a pairing button. The light button um, has two functions though. So if you long hold the, the button for uh, three to four seconds, it goes into a configuration mode. That allows you on the first pass after three seconds to go and adjust the light, which there are three different um, backlit settings. Uh, usual one low medium and high and then there's an auto off function so you can actually leave the device uh, permanently on in a low medium or high light backlit um, environment or alternatively you leave it into the power off button or auto off button uh, configuration and then it will power down itself after about 20 seconds um, I tend to leave it in the low uh, backlit mode permanently um, because I like to see it throughout and in the daytime and in the nighttime and it's clearly visible. As you can see from the insert, um, this is probably in the high brightness mode and it clearly displays uh, the, the 2.5 uh, micron uh, particles at two particles which gives you a nice clear uh, red amber green display um, by the side of it in this case it's two particles per square meter that it's actually measuring there's also an accurate uh, temperature gauge in the center followed by the humidity at the bottom at the bottom of the display is the tvoc which stands for total volatile organic compounds. Uh, TVOCs are things like natural gases uh, compounds as well and I'll leave a link in the description below um, so you can read up about them but basically it just says that if it's in an upward um, configuration it means that they are increasing and that's not good. Uh, if it goes to the left it means that it's a stable at this point in time and if it goes down obviously they're, they're decreasing. Ideally you're looking for something that's uh, stable at any point in time Okay, now into the interesting bit. We're gonna add the device into Home Assistant. Now on my Home Assistant, I'm running on 2023.6.3, um, which is the latest version that's come out. And today is the 27th of June. Um, different uh, versions might work slightly differently, but I highly recommend that you move to the latest version of Home Assistant. So I'm gonna go through how to add it from the devices and services menu, which is inside of settings. I'm gonna go into the integrations devices, entities and helpers uh, menu option. If you have installed the ZHA, uh, then you can simply add via the integration by using the button in the bottom right hand corner. Um, there is, should be an option there for add a Zigbee device if you have a ZHA installed. I'm gonna press that. Now on the actual device itself, if you move to the top of the device at the back, there is a uh, small button, the smaller of the two with a pairing sign on it or it looks like an infinity sign. If you press that five times, the device will reset itself, factory reset itself and turn into pairing mode. And as you can see on the display, it's now done the initialization completed um, and brought the device up. Um, it's showing the available um, uh, sensors available. So we get the humidity, we get the identity button, we get the particulate matter, and we get the temperature icon as the sensors that are exposed to um, Home Assistant. If we now give it a name and call it temp hum uh, pm for particular matter give it an area i tend to put all of my devices into specific areas and device is now available if we move back using the back arrow into the actual uh, zigbee zha integration itself we should be able to see all of the devices search for our new device that we just put into the system 
and we can see the uh, reported sensors, which is humidity, particulate matter, and temperature, with the identity as a diagnostic diagnostics um, a sensor available to it. So yeah, and now we can add that to our dashboard, or we can pick up on this name temp hum pm and add that into whatever dashboard we want. And that is the IKEA Vinstay Raka Zigbee temperature, humidity, um, particulate matter, and TVOC device. Um, I hope that's been useful to you. Um, it's just a very brief overview at this point in time, not super detailed, but it gives you a good idea of what this little device uh, is capable of. It's available for $49.99 from IKEA. Um, stocks are limited. Um, it took me probably a week and a half to actually get hold of one uh, because uh, they had to be bought in, but I believe that they are bringing new stock in available. So it should only take a week or so if it's not available at your local IKEA. It is available from the online IKEA as well if you wish to order it and have it delivered through to you. Um, if you'd like to subscribe uh, or comment and like the video, um, there's more uh, reviews going to be coming through shortly. Um, hopefully I'm going to be doing reviews associated with more sensors and more deliverables about your smart home. Have a good day.